Right. Hi, guys. Uh, I'm Young. <clears throat> I'm a sales engineer with SOTI. Um, thank you for being here at this ungodly hour. <laughs> um, since this is the very last session of this track, I wanted to give you a live demo and skip the PowerPoint presentation and lecturing mode. So uh, feel free to ask any questions that you, you come up with uh, during the session. I will show you um, what our EMM is about. Uh, we have been developing this EMM for the past two decades. Um, and we have seen a shift in the market, in, in, in the, in the uh, mobile device market, where the trend is to minimalize fragmentation. So operating system manufacturers uh, and uh, hardware manufacturers alike are trying to minimize the variety of different um, assets that you can choose off. And we will, we will look at the, uh, at the effects of that, uh, of that trend. First of all, let me, let me show you uh, what EMM is all about. Just, just by a show of hands here, uh, who, who is familiar with enterprise mobility management? To give me a basic idea. Okay, we have a one hand coming up. The others, is it, is it really that you don't have any idea what EMM is all about, or are you just very, very tired? <laughs> all right, okay. Um, Enterprise mobility management is all about managing mobile devices. Now, what th does that mean? Managing mobile devices sounds like a marketing uh, claim, and to be honest, it is actually that, right? Because managing um, mobile devices can be so many different things. And if you talk to different customers from different verticals, you will realize that there are so many different aspects to the term management. Um, to cut this discussion short, there are two different general approaches to managing mobile devices. One is security and one is usability, right? Either you go um, using one very general smartphone and secure it, uh, limit all the functionality, uh, secure your work, uh, work process, or you go the other way uh, where people call it, or tend to call it bring your own device or BYOD concept scenarios, uh, where people are allowed to use their uh, devices for private purposes. And of course, uh, on those devices, the key um, is to separate private from corporate data and make secure processes very, very easy to use, hence the term usability. Now, um, back in the days when when Android 4, Android 5 was around, um, the, the, the smartphone market or the device market was highly fragmented. Um, let me show you actually what I mean. So this is, this is my device right here, my demo device. Um, Mobi Control is built in a way where uh, in this console you see all your devices that are being managed right now. Um, if you click on a device, on any given device, you see detailed information to that device and of course, um, you can remote control the device in terms of uh, supporting a device or just um, ensuring that uh, the configurations that are intended for that device are actually uh, uh, set. So when I click on remote control, a secondary uh, window pops up, um, which is this one right here. And from this window, I can now control this device that I have at hand. Um, I'm really sorry that I can't use this projector, but if I would use this projector, you wouldn't see uh, my remote control session. So um, just believe me when I say <laughs> this is this device right here that you're seeing. Um, and to, to secure this device, we had to um, make use of uh, functionality and features which are called, uh, which will be seen in a second. Bear with me. All right, okay, so this is, this is a unlocked Android device, right? So the user could go, um, could play around with it, could download applications. I, as an as a, uh, as end user, can now go to the settings and misconfigure the devices. Now think of um, a use case where the device has actually been used in a warehouse scenario for, for a corporate purposes. Um, the end user might not like the English language, and as a German employee, I would change that language. Now, if an English, uh, if an English colleague would come along, uh, the device wouldn't be uh, usable for, for uh, this colleague. Hence, my work process is in danger at that point. Um, to to uh, limit this, uh, or to, to prevent this from happening, um, you could go the way, of, uh, you could actually lock down a device with Mobi Control. Um, to limit the device to one specific set of functionality uh, intended by the administrator. This is the first uh, use case that we have been talking about, uh, the use case of uh, uh, hard 
security, right? So in, in, in this case now, I can't extend the status bar anymore. I can't press the home button to get out of this lockdown. And um, I can't even factor reset that device. So my, in, in this use case, my work process is, uh, is as, a, as I mentioned, highly secured. Um, now, this was necessary back in the days of Android 4 uh, and Android 5 devices because um, when you look at the market, you had all sorts of manufacturers of devices. Android wasn't always Android, right? When you looked at the Android from Samsung, from Zebra, from Honeywell, from Sony, from HTC, it was always something, something slightly different. Uh, so we had to come up with a solution to build certain APIs to kind of unify the management approach to that device. Now, with the, uh, with the development of Android uh, and the Android o ecosystem, um, we see a trend of defragmentation, right? So um, there are more and more APIs coming along to unify um, the EMM approach or the, the management approach to those devices from the operating system level. Not from the EMM level, but from the operating system level. Uh, especially if you look at uh, functionalities like Project Travel, for instance, um, to make life easier for end users and uh, EMM providers alike. But um, if you look at the trend, right? If you look at the trend of uh, defragmentation of uh, of of uh, the variety of uh, assets, uh, you are left with the pressing question: Why are we still talking about EMM then, right? Uh, why am I here <laughs> uh, to talk to you about enterprise mobility management when uh, Google is putting all those efforts into? Um, Defragmentation of the of the mobility market. Well, uh, SOTI has been seeing the trend for quite some time. As I mentioned, we have been around for uh, for a long time, and we have we've thought about our future, obviously, um, and came to the conclusion that um, our main focus always has been um, the mobile work experience, so to speak. So, in order to to complement that mobile work experience. Um, we came up with uh, certain other solutions, such as a, um, a rapid app deployment tool, for instance. Um, so if you think about it, the mobile work experience or mobile work is a fundamental uh, aspect in our daily life, right? Um, if you think about yourselves, you check your emails on your phones, you communicate through your smartphone on the get-go. Um, people in warehouse scenarios, in, in highly um, um, industrialized uh, uh, work processes are, again, using mobile devices to uh, scan barcodes, to gather data, to um, fulfill their daily work. Um, so mobility is key to success. But just managing, just limiting the functionality of a device, just securing certain um, the access of certain data on a device isn't enough anymore. So uh, our approach is to complement the mobile work experience by supplying end customers with certain other uh, solutions, such as, for example, the, the mobile, app, um, uh, mobile application um, development tool that we have right here. Uh, I'll give you an example. Um, this Snap platform isn't supposed to be a app development tool. It's, it's rather a, a, a handy tool for non-developers to come up with a very, very basic application um, in, uh, in a very short amount of time. So when you think about, a, in my example, a, a healthcare institute, um, to actually switch a, a, a patient query from pen and paper to an application, they would have to hire an application um, developer deploy that application or match that uh, application to a certain operating system um, or operating system version, then they had to deploy that application to those devices and manage the application. Now, um, with Sodi Snap, you can easily come up with, a, with, a, uh, with this uh, kind of a template where you can choose the, the form factor of that device. Uh, you have certain widgets to drag and drop into your, uh, into your application. So, um, in my example, the, the uh, end user would be asked for his name, but I could easily just drop a text box here, um, whoops, or here, um, to say, to state, um, or to, to just inquire something else, like um, how cool is DroidCon, for example, and then I can put in a, a ratings element over here to um, actually let him 
answer to that question and so on and so forth. So you get the basic idea, right? It's, it's, uh, uh, it's widget elements that you drag and drop over here. You can populate that, uh, that element with text. And then when you're done, you can just press publish and this application gets published to all your managed devices um, and Mobi control. Um, actually, do we have time to, to actually look at it? Do you do you want to see it, or do you? <laughs> uh, is this is it, do you do you get the basic idea of this? All right, cool. Um, I mean, it, it won't take thirty minutes. No, 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 it won't take t uh, thirty minutes. Obviously, okay, cool. So um, let me show you on my device real quick uh, how it looks. Okay, so on the device, um, a, a Sodi Snap client gets installed, and um, if I open up that Sodi Snap client, <coughs> my uh, patient query application appears over here. Uh, obviously, there's an update, so um, if I press that, um, oh yeah, I, I forgot to publish this. So if I, uh, but you can see where this is going, right? On the device, you can see the, the exact same template that we just created, and it's very, very easy to adapt. So think of a, a non, not too tech savvy end customer uh, who is in need of an application on their devices uh, just to collect information from their end customers or from their patients in this case. Um, the key here is it's easy to do and it's very, very quickly uh, uh, deployed. Um, <clears throat> now, let's say there's a nurse, right? And the nurse has his device in hand and has some issues with this application. Um, her approach would be to just say the application is broken or the device is broken, I can't work with it. And again, the more well work experience is broken at that point. Um, what we do at this, uh, at this point is we supply end customers with a mobility centric um, ticketing tool, which allows a help desk support, uh, 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 support guy, for example, to, um, to assist that nurse. So in, uh, in my example, the nurse calls in and says, hey, I have a, uh, I have a problem with that device. Um, so the, the support engineer just creates a new ticket and looks up the device uh, who's calling in. So in my, in my example, I am that nurse. So I look for my device. And Sodi Assist again connects to the EMM or complements the EMM. So um, through an API call, I just look up the device. Unfortunately, the, uh, my connection seems to be not that good. Um, but anyway, after I, I looked up that device, I can then again, uh, yeah, okay, here we go. Okay, sorry for that. Okay, uh, I'm, uh, it seems like, uh, as if I'm uh, having technical issues, but uh, okay, here you go. So if I click remote control uh, at this point, I, as a su uh, support engineer, I can now connect to my device. Um, now, when the nurse calls in tech support, right, uh, the first challenge here again is, the nurse might not be too tech savvy. The support engine usually asks for questions like, what kind of device do you have? What operating system are you running? What version of that application are you running, right? And those are very, very technical questions. Now, in order to, uh, to make the mobile work experience uh, better or easier for the nurse, um, the, the support engine now can just remote control it to that device, click on info, and seize all those informations, right? So the, the language barrier between tech savvy support engineer and non uh, tech savvy nurse is, uh, is overcome at this point very, very easily. Um, also, obviously, I can, I can, now, uh, I can now assess uh, what is actually going wrong. So I can ask the nurse, uh, can you please repeat uh, what you've uh, been doing? Um, in that case, I can see, OK, maybe she's not using the correct version of that application. Maybe I missed uh, pushing down an update, and so on and so forth. So, um, the the um, uh, 
uh, troubleshooting becomes very, very easy at this point. Um, yeah, and that pretty much uh, concludes my very brief overview of uh, uh, how we try to expand beyond the classic enterprise mobility management to, um, yeah, to make the mobile work experience better. Okie doke. Um, do you have any questions at this point? Coolio. Then I should uh, say we go enjoy the game. <laughs>